dummy cow. show you guys how to make ground chicken with peppers and onions um what you will need is to buy the ground chicken um you can buy purdue or whichever one you prefer and you will make it um for every package of ground chicken i usually use one package of peppers and onion stir fry i use a spoon and a half of um goya seasoning right here the adobo and a spoon of just salt and of course i use a cup and a half of my sofrito that i made homemade if you haven't seen the recipe for the sofrito you can go to my channel and um look for it um to how to make homemade sofrito so the ground chicken you can just put it here and you just put your fingers through it okay we're gonna put the sofrito on it. And then you're gonna put the adobo on it. And you're gonna put the salt on it. And you're just gonna take it and kind of mix it up all together, okay? Just make sure that the seasoning is all in it. And that's about it for now let it sit for a good 10-15 minutes so we're gonna use in a pot um, you can use whichever pot you want to use um, you can use a uh, half a cup of oil and you just pour the oil let it get a little hot and then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna just Pour your ground chicken in there. And you don't want your ground chicken to be sticky, so you want it to cook perfectly. Put it on high so it can cook in little grains, so it won't be all sticky in um, bulk. This is the consistency that you want to get with your ground chicken. You don't want it to be clumpy. You don't want it to be sticking together too much. This is the consistency that you want. When it gets to this point that your ground chicken is this way, you want to add your peppers and onions stir fry. And you just add them to your meat. This is how it is. If you like a lot of peppers and onions like we do, you can add two bags. If you don't like a lot of peppers and onions, you can add one bag um we usually i usually add like a bag and a half and then i see where it is if i feel that i need more than that by the time i'm done i pour the rest but we like a lot of peppers and onions so i am gonna add the rest to mine and they're small bags so you can kind of experiment and see if you know if you want it they are only 16 ounce bags so then you just do it like this and you just put the top um, on it and let it cook and simmer for a little while. This is how it's going to look and how you want it to look all the way to the end. You want some juice in it and you see the consistency that it has. Okay. You can actually, if you want to, you can let all the juice soak up. 
it looks so good and it smells so good. This is the way that you want the ground turkey to look. I mean ground chicken to look. And you can also make this with ground turkey if you don't eat chicken, okay? So the ground chicken is done and this is how it looks. And I made some yasmin rice and some fried plantains, green plantains, okay? And what we're gonna do is that I usually serve it like this. Thank you.